in our desire to do things differently and to hear more voices, we also have a desire for better conversations about important things. And one way we're trying to do that is to look at big themes and have discussions about a theme rather than starting off with a solution. In our usual proposal model uh, that we've used in the past, we tend to start the first thing on the top of the page is a solution to an issue or a, or a, a problem in the church. And then some background comes uh, to explain why you're offering that solution. Uh, one of the challenges with that system is that we end up debating just the, the tool or the mechanism and sometimes we don't have a fulsome discussion about the issue itself. And so the proposal format does that. It flips stuff around. It doesn't just propose a solution. It proposes a topic for conversation. We begin with a, a topic, an issue, and then some discussion, some theology, some how does it work, why is it important. And then at the end, here are some suggestions about how uh, the writer or the writers think we might approach the issue. So it becomes an open-ended discussion tool rather than a prescriptive uh, mechanism tool. And hopefully that will help us have those better conversations about important things. It will give us an opportunity. We'll, we'll be creating space for the conversations that don't necessarily have a conclusion or that lend themselves to a particular action, but are the, the important faith conversations that we need to have with one another that really is the most important business of being church together that often we don't get to when we're focused on proposals and actions and conclusions. So I'm really excited about where this can lead us and the conversations it'll open up.